Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ability here, and I'm going to be doing some 3v3 Colosseum on my Zeller. On my team, we have a Upper Mage with a funny name, a Golden Osamotus, and we are against a Sacrier, Sedida, and Ekaflip. I think for that team, I am going to go Melee Agility. It's 3v3, so I don't want Croco Burn, I don't want um, Dococo. I'm going to take... I don't think I have MP resistance. I was going to take an MP resistance pet, but I don't think I have one. Um, I don't really want an Ebony, so I think I would rather take a Domokuro, or Dorgami, I mean. That's probably good. I think we're all set on spells. Yep. So we'll go with this setup and see what the enemy team looks like. So I'm guessing my Hopper Mage is going to be their Chance or Agility. I think their Chance. Alright, so there, Sadie gets an infection on the two of us. Um, their Echo Flip is probably... I, if I had to guess, I'd say he's a Top Cadge. Or not Top Cadge, um, what is that Omni spell called? I forget what that thing is called. And then their Sack Rear is Agility, okay. So our Osamotus is agility. I really want to get to that inflatable, but I don't think I will be able to. The Sedita stacked AP resistance. I am not an AP reduction, and I don't think... Okay, so it's a strength upper mage. Interesting. So she just got tons of strength. Does it not show here? Or did I click on the wrong person? Hmm. It's not showing. But she's got a bunch of strength. 50 strength, two turns. Oh, that's not good. Alright, well, I can use rollback and bring. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Do I have the range? I do. I can still bring the Osa back. Okay. this this and run this way okay so I brought the Osamotus back didn't really do anything else they're engaging on us super hard I definitely should have killed that tree but our Osa can kill the tree I'm gonna ping it just so that he knows to finish it off um, okay, their Echo Flip is Strength. Arosa's is kind of getting Womboed here. It's already a thousand HP down. So our Hopper Mage has a Protect, and so does their Echo. Oh no, that's Arosa. Does our Osa have a Protect? Hmm. I wish that was easier to read. They have a Dorgami. Alright, so the Hopper Mage was given AP. 34% Agi Res, 31%, 37%. Wow, they're all pretty resistant to me. Are we going for the Sadie here? Okay. Now the Tofu, I think, goes back there. Interesting. And then infect me? No? Hit me? I was already infected. I guess they're just prolonging my infection state. Okay. I have 80 MP res, which is part of the reason why I chose this um, agility set. A lot of my other sets don't really have great resistance. Hmm, do I fully engage here? Let's see what the ultra powerful does. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully the Hopper Mage can deal some damage to that so I can kill it for like 2 AP. That would be nice. Otherwise, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to kill it. We should definitely hit it though, in my opinion. Nice. Ooh. Huh, I don't know who to go for. Why did they just strike a meteor or the tofu? I think I misclicked.
I don't know why they just strike a meteor or melonic tofu. That was 4 AP for no effect. Hmm. I have to make a choice on what to do here. All right, well, I can no longer go for the sack rear. I think I have to go for the Sadie. Pretty sure I do. Come on, crit. No. Shoot. All right, well, I'll use Frostbite. I will use Mummification. And this. And this. And this. And this. Okay. Hey guys, this is Ability in post-production. I realized that I could have had a more efficient turn here. If I had reordered my spells, I wouldn't have had to use Frostbite to kill the Ultra Powerful. And the way that that would have worked is if I used Mummification before I used Shriveling. Shriveling would have done more damage because it does more damage to targets in the Telefrag state. So then I wouldn't have had to use Frostbite on the Ultra Powerful. And I would have had two extra AP to use while comboing the Sedita. So I kind of left my team over there. Oh, that was a lineup for Misadventure. Our Hover Mage really misplayed with that Striking Meteor. Not sure why they did that, but hopefully it doesn't cost us the match. Um, I think we're losing at this point. We're not focusing one target. Like the Hover Mage is playing Runic Overcharge, which is why they have so many different runes on the field. However, they didn't have an effective turn last turn, so I don't think they're going to be able to keep these runes. I think they're going to fade away. I don't even know if the Osa can really get to the Sadie over here. Okay, yeah, they can. That's good, at least. This Tofu can't, but maybe that Tofu can free our Hopper Mage. That would be nice. I'm not exactly sure if that Tofu can swap allies, but if it can, that would be awesome. Alright, so I'm infected. I should be the only person infected on my team at this point. Actually, no. Our Hopper Mage will still be infected. Okay, nice. Got the healing kitten. Wow, lots of protects. I did not realize there were that many. Alright, so my accomplice will be infected and our Oso will be infected. Okay, so Ebony went on Hopper Mage, I believe. That's actually bad. I wish the Ebony went on me. Let's see if I can kill this inflatable. Okay, so Accomplice and Osa are infected. So it might be good for me to replace the Accomplice at this point. So that the Sedita can't heal off of it. Because that would be plus 300 HP. Can I get to that? I can get to that inflatable. Alright, I think this is gonna be a runic overcharge. Yep. Alright, I can kill this 80. I don't have to worry about replacing the accomplice if I don't want to either. Let's see what the Sakri does. Are they just gonna do damage? Or are they gonna try and mess up my turn? Because as it is, the Sadie will die. I don't think they're trying to mess it up. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is do this. Pendulum. Hit them both. Teleport. Frostbite. I'm going to hide my Hover Mage. And block line of sight. Okay, so their Echo Flip should have a harder time reaching our Hover Mage now, hopefully. Oh, okay, they're just going to use Claw of Sangal or whatever it's called. Potentially. 
this synchro was, I should have placed it at the start of the turn, but it was just to block line of sight so that they couldn't get to the hover mages easily. Too bad I created a giant AoE. <laughs> Does the hover get a turn? No. Oh my god, they do. But they have... Did Ebony go away? Ebony went away because we killed the... Oh wow, our hopper gets another turn. That's huge. That's so nice. So part of the reason that we were able to kill the Sedita is because I got some shield from killing the summon so they couldn't heal as much off of me. Um, because you can't heal off of someone who has shield points. The lifesteal doesn't work. Nice. So the Hupper's getting a little bit healthier. The Sacrier is definitely going to kill them. However, I'm locking the Sacrier. So they're going to have to struggle a little bit to do that. Yeah, that 14 HP was so unlucky on the enemy team's part. Oh, <laughs> they're healing as well. That's funny. I feel a little bit bad for the enemy team. Okay, so let's see what the Sakura does. I'm assuming he's just gonna release me. Oh, okay, swaps. Alright, well, 8 AP to kill 930, yeah. So I'm just gonna combo the Eka. Or should I combo the Sakura? No, I should combo the Eka. Oh, this is annoying. Hmm. Alright, well the Eka goes next, so I would prefer to have them on top of me, so I will end with the Eka here. Just to lock them. Oh, okay, they have Leap. Wow, Leap gives 40 dodge as well, it's actually really useful. I don't even think I needed the accomplice here. I could have just comboed fully without it. I didn't realize the sacrier. So what spell was that that the sacrier used? Pen penitence. Yeah, so I didn't understand how penitence worked. All right, so they're hitting me now. I have 30% earth res and 30% air res, so they'll be able to do decent damage. However, I used counter on myself so that the sacrier will struggle struggle to hit me without damaging himself. Apparently, Osa wants to switch to hitting the Sacrier. It's fine, I guess. Sacrier is definitely harder to kill. Especially if I don't have a Synchro out. Synchro is a huge source of damage for me. But yeah, Penitence is such an annoying spell. How long does this last for? Penitence. Penitence, one turn. Okay. So let's see if it goes away on the Sakura's turn. Nice, I just got big heals from the Osa. Can this Tofu reach? No. Okay, Penitence went away. So if I can kill... Hmm, I don't think I can kill that Echo. Alright, well the Sakura's hurting themselves. So I think I'll probably just finish them off. If possible. Oh. Okay then. There's nothing for me to teleport on either. Alright, I'm gonna use desynchronization. nothing to telefrag with on that. His last position was over here rather than a walking cell because of penitence. Alright, so the Echo's gonna run. Took 2 MP on 80 MP res. It's actually quite impressive. He's got luck now, so we'll go on the sack rear. Thing is, it's not worth me using 
my turn hitting a, a Sakrier who's on stage eight with pennant or whatever that's called, pillory. Ooh, the Osa's making the wrong choice. He's got Echo's luck. I don't, can we kill on Echo's luck? Yikes. I don't think we can kill him. Mm, maybe I'm wrong. So the Sakrier can run here. I still have counter. That was a uh, 216 heal, however, now punishment can bounce between all of us, or whatever that's called, bloodthirsty madness. Light speed. Hmm. Wow, another minus two MP. Okay then. So I'm gonna do this to set up for a pendulum. Uh, let's get rid of this with a dollar's punch. And then we'll do this. And let's see, I'm gonna be the target here, but I'm just gonna use a, a premonition instead of blocking line of sight. I could have put a thing here, a synchro, however the echo flip could have healed off of us with whatever that AoE spell is called, I forget. Strength AoE spell. All right, so he's going for MP reduction on me, but the fight is over at this point. They did well at kind of slowing the fight down in the second half. They made a cycle between them. Penitence is just such a strong spell. It reminds me of um, whatever the Zeller spell is called, Temporal Op Shield. It just swaps whoever you hit and it really makes it hard to focus. But the fight went well. Apparently my MP resistance was actually really important. I was able to make it to the Sadie over here and put some pressure on the Sadie. Osa played really well. And uh, the Hopper Mage did a lot of damage and survived for longer than expected. So my team did really well. Their team also played well. They did well at rushing us. However, I think they might have spent too much AP pulling our team in and not using enough protection on the Sedita. Because the Sedita would have really been hard to deal with had they gotten another two turns just because of Harmony. It would have been impossible to kill them and they would have been reducing all of our MP and AP. So I think if they played more defensively and played more for their Sedita as their carry, they could have won that. But they played more just kind of jumping in and rushing us, which didn't work out so well. But that was the fight, and uh, I think I'm going to call it there since it was a 16-minute fight. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.